What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's question comes from Jason E. Dear Chase, I have recently become a fan of you after watching several videos of your guitar covers. My question for you is who are you inspired from to make these guitar covers? They are awesome, I mean it. I recently became a guitar music fan after being introduced to a cover online. I have been looking for someone who makes great guitar covers and you, sir, are great at them. I hope to eagerly hear your response on my question. Thank you so much for hearing me out. Sincerely, Jason. So first off, thank you Jason for the message. I figured I'd kind of go back in time and give you my whole history of how I started playing the guitar. So it all started when I was around 7 or 8 years old. At the time, Guitar Hero was like a huge thing. Everybody I knew was playing Guitar Hero, and eventually I decided to start playing Guitar Hero. So the newest one at the time was Guitar Hero 3, and so I probably spent like days playing Guitar Hero 3, and eventually it got to the point where I could play my first song on expert mode. I seriously remember this like it was yesterday, but I kept trying to play slow ride on expert mode. And after like 20 or 30 tries, I finally finished slow ride on expert mode. Once I started to get pretty good at Guitar Hero, the next like logical step for me was to play the real guitar. And so I bought my first guitar when I was 8 or 9 years old. It was this really crappy Austin guitar. I still have the price tag on there and I think it was like $100. But anyway, I bought this guitar and the first thing I tried to do was learn System of a Down songs. Literally the first song I tried to learn on the guitar was either Hypnotize or Chop Suey. That's the main reason that System of a Down has like a special place in my heart. But anyway, I've been playing guitar ever since then. I've pretty much been self-taught for I think almost 10 years now, although I did take two guitar elective classes in high school, only because I knew it would be an easy A. I'm sorry if my guitar teacher is watching. But I mean, even today, almost 10 years later, I'm still like learning new things on the guitar, so I don't consider myself an expert at all. But anyway, bringing it back full circle to Jason E's question, who was I inspired by to make the guitar cover videos? To be honest, I was pretty much inspired by the typical like generic guitar cover videos you see on YouTube. People literally just set up the camera and film themselves playing the guitar with the song in the background. <laughs> So that's pretty much the only thing that inspired me. I just love playing the guitar. I've been doing it for almost 10 years now. And to be honest, it was getting a bit frustrating that I play guitar for myself. I mean, I know it's good to have a hobby for yourself and stuff, but at the same time, I want to share my hobbies with other people. And so I hope that answered your question. I actually really appreciate all the people who started watching this channel because of the guitar cover videos. People on YouTube talk about doing YouTube videos for fun and all that stuff, but I seriously do those guitar covers just for fun. As I said before, they don't get many views and I can't monetize them. So I just do it because I like playing guitar. Sorry, I keep getting like sidetracked a lot. I don't remember what I was talking about. Anyway, the guitar cover videos are gonna be coming back soon. I'll be right back and I'll show you why I can't do the guitar cover videos right now. So here's the guitar that I always use for the guitar cover videos. And just the other night I was playing guitar and the string broke. And these strings that I put on this guitar was the last pack of guitar strings I had. So now I have to get new strings before I can do another guitar cover video. Anyway, that wraps up this video. But thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!